And I wanna welcome each and every one of you. Good afternoon, I am Dr. Rita. Uh, I am the Chief Medical Officer here at Wakana and welcome to our Lunch and Learn where we're just really, really passionate about empowering folks about the medicinal properties of the cannabis plant. And so that is our intention and we hope that at the end you have a better understanding of the difference between marijuana and CBD that's coming from the hemp plant and also more about our project, our products. So I just wanna introduce myself. I'm a mom of three children. I have my oldest here is Jacob, he's 29, Joshua's 24 and my Hannah is 22. I am an obstetrician gynecologist. I've been practicing uh, medicine for over 30 years now, so hard to believe, but I am still a practicing physician uh, still doing surgery in the field of obstetrics and gynecology, doing C-sections, hysterectomy, still doing liposuctions and, and tummy tucks. I've kind of altered my gyne surgeries to be more cosmetic surgeries, uh, but truly, truly have been involved in the cannabis industry. And it's beyond my belief, if anyone ever told me that I would be involved in the cannabis industry, I would say absolutely not. But here you see I'm pictured because I was asked to testify for the state of Illinois for the legalization of our adult use law. In fact, I was the very first physician in the state of Illinois to certify a patient in the opioid exchange program. That's a program where instead of patients who are on opioids for their pain, exchange it for a cannabis product. So absolutely, I'm an advocate. I'm very passionate about this plant. I've been studying the industry for the last three years. So yes, I went from the physician, the ob that used to read these publications to now. I am truly, truly knowing that there is so much information out there that you can find at CVS and Walgreens publications about the medicinal use of cannabis from time magazine all the way to women and weed cannabis is truly mainstream cannabis is something that we shouldn't be afraid of yes cannabis still has a negative stigma because when you use the word cannabis most people think that you are trying or encouraging them to get high so this lunch and learn will really educate you on the other part of the plant that gets you healthy without the high. So what really caused cannabis to become mainstream was Dr. Sanjay Gupta in 2013 when he came back and made a public, public apology. And you know what Dr. Sanjay Gupta said in 2013? He said, we all have been systematically misled about this plant. He said, I didn't dig deep enough. I didn't dig far enough in the research to really understand that this plant has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of medicinal benefits for the body. In fact, this plant has been used since 2737 BC medicinally top pharmaceutical companies that we all know, we, we all on this line may be on uh, medications, but pharmaceutical companies like Pfizer and Park Davis and Eli Lilly, they all offer cannabis-based medicine for symptoms that were caused by arthritis, symptoms that were caused by different mental disorders, symptoms that was caused by glaucoma, and migraines, you name it, these pharmaceutical companies used to sell it. And then we think about cannabis. Cannabis is an herb. It's a plant that was given to us by God. So the solution has always been in the ground for our healing. So let's look at the plant. Let's just look at the anatomy of the plant. I think it's important that you understand what it looks like and what the different parts and its role play in. Well, the leaves are two. There are the fan leaves, which are the least potent, 
These are the larger leaves here. And then we have the sugar leaves. The sugar leaves are the tiny leaves that are very close to the buds and the flowers. And it's the sugar leaves that are most potent and they're used for extraction. So when we're getting our oils out of the plant, they're coming from the sugar leaf. Now the stems are not very potent or really even used for medicinal properties. That part of the plant is used to make clothes and other textile and other industrial uses. And then there's the flower and the bud part of the plant. This is the part of the plant that's most potent. This is where we get all of our products from for, for smoking, uh, for vaping, uh, for extracting the oil. So the flower and the bud is the most important potent part. And then we have these little things called trichomes. The trichomes had to be uh, magnified because they're so tiny. But this is the part of the plant that produces terpenes. See, terpenes are what gives the plant its aroma, its flavor. Some of you on the line are business partners. When you eat like our gummies or maybe you use our tincture, you'll have that kind of woody, musty, piney, sort of taste. Those are terpenes that you're tasting. So the terpenes also have medicinal properties. Terpenes help reduce inflammation. They help improve pain that we may have. It helps us to feel better. In fact, one of the terpenes called limonene, limonene, which comes from lemons or citrus fruits, you can actually cut the rind off of a lemon, let's say. You may have a lemon in the refrigerator. And if you put lime or lemon rinds all around your house, you're putting terpenes around your house. And how will that make you feel? Your mood will be uplifted. Your energy will be uplifted. So every single part of the plant has some sort of medicinal or industrial use. When we think about cannabis and we think about the cultivation, uh, we know that it really was the slaves that cultivated this plant. It was the cash crop of the time, way before cotton and et cetera. It was the cannabis plant. So that's a little nugget for you to know as well. So really where does the root of the stigma against cannabis start? Well, when we look at the words that we use for cannabis, like dope and reefer and marijuana, that's part of the negative stigma. And then also the African-American, Caribbean, even the Mexican, Spanish slang, even the word marijuana emphasizes some negative connotations and Mexicanness of the drug. And we know that before 1960, weed or cannabis was very much considered a drug for people of color. We got the stereotypic, racist, negative propaganda that actually began in the 1930s. In the 1930s, there was something called a Marijuana Tax Act. You know, it was an act to really prohibit physicians and patients to want to continue to use cannabis because the taxation was so high it was really prohibitive. And then that prohibition time, somebody by the name of Harry Anslinger, he really started the negative movement. He started the negative movement because unfortunately he had friends that, that owned farms that was growing trees, that was in competition to make paper. Uh, he had friends like the DuPonts that were trying to make pa uh, paint but they were in competition with the farmers who were growing hemp that can also produce paint and clothes. So truly that negative stigma started way back during prohibition. It led all the way up to the 1970s with President Nixon and his war on drugs. And this is truly when cannabis became an illegal drug. It became a scheduled one drug and the DEA or the Drug Enforcement Act was instituted. So let's look at the difference between hemp versus marijuana. 
And why this is so critical to understand is because our CBD products are extracted from the hemp plant. So let's look at cannabis as a whole. Cannabis is the family. So think of cannabis as the family. So the family has over a hundred plus compounds or cannabinoids as we call it, that the plant produces. But the two most common compounds that you should know about, and maybe you already know, is THC. That's a part of the, the plant that is psychoactive, or it's a part of the plant that gets us high, or gives us that euphoria, or maybe even makes some of us paranoid. And then there's CBD, or cannabidiol. That's a part of the plant that gives us the health without the high. It addresses inflammation. It addresses all of the uh, issues that come with um, factors when we deal with insomnia. It helps and it helps to uh, address symptoms that may be due to so many different chronic illnesses like hypertension and diabetes and heart disease and, and your autoimmune diseases. So when you break down that family of cannabis, there's two species. There's the marijuana species and the hemp species. And both compounds, THC and CBD, can come from marijuana and hemp. The difference is, is that marijuana has high levels of THC. That's why when you use marijuana, you get high. Whereas the hemp species has very trace amounts of THC. In fact, by definition, Hemp is defined as containing 0.3% or less of THC in high levels of CBD. That's why hemp doesn't get you high because the THC levels are such trace amounts and the CBD levels are so high, we call that part of the plant the health without the high. So hemp versus marijuana, hopefully, is a lot clearer for you to understand. So let's look at CBD. CBD stands for cannabidiol. And I tell you, three years ago, I had never heard of CBD. They don't teach it in medical school. Um, I had no idea that there were two species of the cannabis plant. I only knew of the marijuana. So this was so, so enlightening for me because when I did my due diligence, when I started digging and looking at the research, I was like, wow, there's a part of the plant that I can offer to my patients who want a holistic, organic, natural way of addressing different challenges in their life. One being pain, one being anxiety, one being stress, one being nausea, nausea, one being uh, Symptoms that are due to migraine, you know, that unrelenting headache. And so CBD stands for cannabidiol. It is the second most common cannabinoid found in different strains of the cannabis plant, but is the number one compound found in the hemp species. CBD, unlike THC, will not get you high. There's no mind altering effects. There's no euphoria. There's no paranoia. There's none of that. What you get is that calmness. You get that balance. You get that overall improvement and quality of life with CBD. So I've used CBD in my practice for the last three years. I've used it in conjunction with traditional pharmaceutical medication, really for those patients who are looking for alternatives to their health. So what makes CBD legal that comes from the hemp species? Well, it's the 2018 Farm Bill. See, what happened in 2018 was that there were senators like uh, McConnell, who really was pushing for his farmers in Kentucky to bring back the hemp cultivation. See, farmers over the years have really been hit hard. But the 2018 Farm Bill legalized by removing hemp from the Controlled Substance Act. So hemp was a controlled substance. Can you believe that? It was a scheduled one controlled substance. What's a, a scheduled one controlled substance? Well, a scheduled one controlled substance is a substance 
that has been deemed to have no medical benefit at all, that has a very high rate of addictiveness or addictive rate, and it also has a severe safety profile. These drugs that are scheduled one are like LSD and heroin and cocaine, and even marijuana is a scheduled one drug, but no longer is hemp a Schedule One drug through the 2018 Farm Bill. So on, an, on a federal level, hemp is now allowed to be grown, imported, sold, uh, consumed, as long as it contains less than 0.3% or less of THC. So this was huge. When this happened, oh my goodness, in 2018, we saw so many CBD companies pop up. We found that folks are making CBD products in their garage, uh, in their basements. We find CBD products at gas stations. And I always laugh because they sell CBD at a video store here in Homewood where I live, you know? And I'm, and I'm not sure I would trust those CBD products that are sold in those sort of places. And we'll talk about why I would not recommend buying CBD from those places. But since 2018, what's really exciting is now we can do research. Finally, it's no longer a Schedule One drug. It's no longer linked with marijuana. Now we can study CBD on humans. There's over 20,000 articles and peer review re reviews and data and research on cannabis as a whole, on CBD as a whole. But prior to 2018, in the United States, that data and research has been done either on rats or piglets, right? So now that it's legal, we can do research. So UC San Diego is leading the charge. I mean, they are doing some phenomenal studies are looking at CBD in early treatment of psychosis. They're looking at CBD used uh, in rheumatoid arthritis. They're looking at CBD used in the management of insomnia in adults. They're looking at CBD to be treating, to use to treat alcohol dependency. They're looking at CBD and its role in eating disorders and anxiety at anorexia nervosa. They're looking at CBD uh, use in autistic children, uh, ADHD, multiple sclerosis, lupus. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And it's so exciting to know that we now have data to really help healthcare professionals like myself, who really didn't know anything three years ago. And for those health professionals now that don't know anything about CBD to help them to understand that these studies are out there. So let's look at the medicinal benefits of CBD. You know, we talk about all these studies. We talk about what we call anecdotal. Anecdotal studies means that these studies that have been done in the past, even though they've been done on rats and piglets, we can still correlate them with the benefits of CBD in a human being. So there's over 20,000 peer review articles after this lunch and learn, you can easily use your favorite search engine. I want to empower you to just type in CBD and whatever you want to know as it relates to a challenge you may have. So CBD helps to relieve pain. It helps to relieve anxiety. It helps to reduce inflammation. Studies show it helps to relieve psychosis, uh, schizophrenia, bipolar. Uh, there are studies that show it helps to stimulate the appetite in those who are HIV positive or AIDS wasting patients. It helps to reduce nausea in those who are undergoing chemotherapy. It helps to reduce seizures and convulsions. You know, we know about a little girl, maybe you don't know about a little girl by the name of Charlotte Fiji. This was a little girl who unfortunately passed away due to complications of COVID-19 but this is a little girl that has something called Dravet syndrome. She was having 300 seizures a week. Her parents tried everything, every medication. Uh, they, were, they were almost to a point where they were gonna operate on this little girl's head 
to decrease the seizure threshold in the brain. And it was her parents who introduced her to CBD. This little girl went from 300 seizures to three seizures a week. It helps to prevent nervous system degeneration. Those are degenerative uh, diseases like Alzheimer's disease, dementia, uh, Parkinson's, uh, stroke victims. CBD has been shown to improve the nerve generation in those who have damaged nerves. Uh, suppresses muscle spasms in those who have multiple sclerosis. It can manage blood sugar. We'll talk about those diabetics. It helps to treat skin disorders like psoriasis and eczema and acne. It helps to inhibit cancer cell growth. There are studies that show that CBD can stop cancer cells from metastasizing. It helps to reduce the risk of arterial blockage. Those who have high cholesterol may have coronary artery disease. It helps to increase bone growth. It helps to kill or slow bacterial growth. So you may ask Dr. Rita, how can one compound from the cannabis plant, from the hemp species do so much? It sounds like a snake oil. At least it sounded like a snake oil to me three years ago when I first heard about CBD. But as I continue to do my digging, I found out that there's real science behind how CBD works. There's a real pharmacology system on how CBD works in our bodies through the endocannabinoid system. In fact, this is one of the most vital regulatory systems within our human body. It's made up of receptors that are looking for cannabis. Well, of course, they didn't teach us this in medical school, even though it was discovered in the early 1990s, when I attended Wayne State School of Medicine, never missed a day of medical school, but they did not teach us this. In fact, less than 5% of medical schools are teaching it today. So that's why these lunch and learns are imperative to get your friends and family members on, even your physician, your dentist, your healthcare professional, your nurse practitioner needs to get this information. So this system is looking for cannabis to do what? To put our body back in balance, what we call homeostasis. And why does our body get knocked out of balance? Well, several, several reasons. One, environmental, right? The air we're breathing, the water we're drinking, then the internal stress we're under, this pandemic, social unrest that's going on the pesticides that are found in our foods, our fruits and vegetables, the sleep deprivation we're under because we're stressed out, the lack of water we may be drinking. So, so many factors cause our body to be out of balance or not in homeostasis. And when that happens, disease occurs, inflammation occurs, stress occurs, lack of sleep occurs because there's stress and we can't sleep at night. So these receptors are also found not only in our brain and central nervous system, in our immune system, in our periphery that control pain management, but they're found in our eyes, our lungs, our liver, our kidney, our bowel, our skin, our stomach, our teeth, and our heart. And all of these receptors play a role in managing symptoms due to glaucoma that affect the eye. Managing symptoms that are due to asthma or COPD that affect the lungs. Managing symptoms that can be due to our uh, imbalance in our bowel, like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease or inflammatory bowel disease. Can benefit periodontal disease, right? By those receptors in the teeth by reducing inflammation by helping to slow bacterial infection. So you understand that there is real science behind how CBD works through the endocannabinoid system. And the number one reason folks look for CBD is for pain relief. You know, many of you on the line may take acetaminophen, Tylenol, or you may take ibuprofen or Motrin or Aleve, or maybe if you are on the line and you're still having menstrual cycles, maybe you take Midol for that pain. But CBD absolutely is 
an alternative to these over-the-counter medications that I just named that long-term we have found that kill our kidney, that kill our liver. So approaching our health with a holistic, organic, natural way is imperative. We even look at, again, those receptors in the teeth. When we look at periodontal disease, again, CBD has been found to reduce anxiety. How many of us fear going to the dentist? I do, I hate going to the dentist, right? Helps to improve sleep, helps to improve pain, helps to minimize GI upset if your dentist happens to recommend you take Motrin for that toothache, right? It helps to heal gum disease by addressing inflammation and reducing bacterial infection. So, so many other benefits. Even when we look at areas of uh, the health care in estheticians, you know, estheticians in our skin, they're even looking at CBD because why it reduces inflammation. It helps to increase the immune cells within our skin, those Langerhans cells from being so inflamed helping to address symptoms related to psoriasis, eczema, and acne. I can go on and on and on how CBD can be used in our everyday life with everyday challenges that we all have. And you may ask, what is the long-term use of CBD? Is it safe long-term? You know, what, what is the maximum dose? And they've done studies already to show the safety and efficacy even at doses as high as 1500 milligrams a day can be used safely and effectively in so many people. Now, I've not had to deal with that many people that need 1500 milligrams of CBD on a daily dose. That's a lot, but there are studies that show it's well tolerated and safe. So let's move into some of the products that you can use to address symptoms that are due to so many challenges that we have today. It's important to know that the FDA does not approve any of these statements, um, that if you're nursing pregnant on medication, please consult your physician prior to taking any cannabis products, any nutraceutical products that you may be interested in using. So a little bit about our movement, the Wakana movement. I want to quickly tell you briefly our story, meet our co-founders, and really what the difference is with our company. Well, these are the four co-founders. Again, we want, launched Wakana in April 20th of 2019. We're a year, a little over a year old, and our visionary is Melissa Boston. She is the CEO of Wakana. She brings to us over 29 years of direct sales experience, 16 years in corporate America. In fact, she fired her boss when she was 32 and a half years old. She's built companies in over 40 countries. She's trained over 50,000 distributors. She is an author. She's a social media um, um, strategist and expert, and she is the vision behind Wakana. And then our president, Dr. Patricia Van Pelt, is a state senator serving her third term here. She's a businesswoman. She's an evangelist. And then our new chief sales officer, uh, Phyllis Nash, brings to us over 30 years of experience, not only in the real estate industry, but the liquor industry and restaurant industry. And then myself, Dr. Rita McGuire, I have been in healthcare for over 30 years as an obstetrician gynecologist. Uh, I'm the chief medical officer, but more importantly, all four of us, all four co-founders have been working together in this space since 2017. And our whole vision is to end the negative stigma that has really caused our communities to lose out, not only the, on the health, but the wealth benefit of this plant. And we're more than a CBD company. We are a movement and our mission is that we want to be the catalyst to help people like you that are on the line today to really find your niche, to find your space in this industry. You may just want to be a customer and use products, but you may want to look at investing. You may want to be an entrepreneur in this space. You may want to lock arms with us. So whatever it is, that is our mission to be that catalyst to help you find your space in this industry. 
So we're going to talk about our product line. Our product line, we have two product lines, which is power. And our power line is our full spectrum product. That means that this product contains the legal limit of THC, which is 0.3% or less, and the other cannabinoids or the other part of the plant that on a cellular level helps to bring the body back in balance. And that's what we want. We want our bodies back in balance so that whatever our body faces now or in the future, it will be the strongest host that I talk about that it can be. And then we have our pure products. Those are our broad spectrum products. What that means is those products contain less than 0.0% of THC. The pure products are products that if you have random drug screens and you're on the line, that's the product that you're going to want to take if you have a random drug screen. So we have products for everyone. We have tinctures. We'll talk about that. We have water solubles. We have edibles. We have products you can bake and cook with. We have uh, products you can vape and smoke. We have topical products. We have spices. But more importantly, we have certificates of analysis. And certificates of analysis are critical in this market. We talked about CBD being sold at gas stations, smoke shops, uh, basements, garages, uh, video stores. Those are products that are not tested. Each product here at Wakanda has a certificate of analysis. We've done testing to ensure there's no mold, mail do heavy metals. Uh, we ensure that there are no pesticides. We also ensure that when we say there's 500 milligrams of CBD in this 15 ml bottle, absolutely there is 500 milligrams of CBD in that bottle. Making sure that the products that are power are less than 0.3% of THC. All of these things are critical that every consumer needs when they're navigating in this CBD space. And that's what we provide here at Wakana. So our three tinctures, those are oils that you place underneath the tongue, are our Hempranium MD on the left. This is a product that is our most potent tincture. It contains 750 milligrams of CBD in a 15 ml bottle. It's a great product for those who want to address more serious symptoms for conditions. Uh, I always like to start low and start slow. What that means is more is not better. You don't need to take a lot of CBD to put the body back into balance, right? So I always recommend that you start with three drops in the morning and three drops in the evening. The maximum dosage is 15 drops in the morning and 15 drops in the evening. So you can see by starting with three drops in the morning and three drops in the evening, how you can go up if you need. The Mayo Clinic did a study and they did a study on folks who had severe chronic pain. And what they found in that study at the Mayo Clinic is that people need anywhere from two and a half to maybe 50 milligrams of CBD. That's that average person. Some people need more and some people need less. But just know, start low and slow. Our next product is our Hempranium 500 milligrams. This is a product that's a tincture also. You place it underneath the tongue, three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening. But what's different is this product has a proprietary formulation. We've enhanced the CBD with black seed, with turmeric and peppermint. And you may ask, well, why would you wanna enhance another product that's already addressing inflammation or already addressing the antioxidative properties? Well, CBD, when you combine it with those essential oils like black seed, turmeric and peppermint, it will give the body an even more enhancement of its anti-inflammatory properties that CBD has, because everyone knows how amazing turmeric is as it relates to inflammation, as it relates to improving cognition and mood, and as an, a powerful antioxidant to address free radicals. Free radicals break the body down, and that's when disease happens. So we've enhanced this particular product with three USDA essential oils 
that enhance the CBD properties. And then we have our Pure Tincture. That's a broad spectrum product for those who have random drug screens at their job and also want the benefits of CBD. Now, what's even more unique to this particular product is its delivery system. It's called nanotechnology. It's a delivery system that allows the CBD to be more available to the cells. So the bioavailability to our cells is 98.7% in our pure nano tincture. Again, three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening is a great, great way to start. And then our topicals. And the topicals are amazing. Uh, the Dr. Rita's Rub is the product here on the left is our power liquid relief. It's a product that I use before I work out. It's a product I use at night when I'm sleeping. It's a product that offers local relief. And we also have, it's also uh, enhanced with uh, essential oils, 19 USDA certified essential oils that enhance that 200 milligram of CBD that's in the bottle with this anti-inflammatory properties anti-inflammatory properties are important to relieve swelling, to relieve pain in those sore joints and muscles. Then we have two creams. Our severe power relief cream at the top, 200 milligrams, and our power relief topical cream at the bottom, 500 milligrams. You may ask, well, what is the difference between all three of these topicals? Well, one difference is one is an oil on the left, the other two on the right are creams depends on if you like oil application or cream application. The second difference is that they all have different severities. Uh, I would say because of the formulation, the one on the left is more for severe challenges that you wanna address locally. The one on the top, another one that's more for moderate to severe challenges. And then the one on the bottom is more for mild challenges. And the difference in the formulation is one in the amount of essential oils that we've used to enhance these products and two in the size of the jar. The one at the bottom is a 60 ml jar, so it's more diluted. It's not as potent. The one at the top is in a 30 ml jar, which is less dilute, more potent. And then the one on the left, again, has 19 essential oils that enhances the anti-inflammatory property. So all three are amazing topicals. If you have random drug screens at your job, it will not pass the blood-brain barrier. What that means is it will not pass into the urine. So you can safely use any of these topical products for relief locally. And then we have our gummies. Our gummies are a great way to add to the tincture, to your topical, and to use your gummy. And I'm gonna explain why it's important to use all three methods of ingestion when you're dealing with mild, moderate, even to severe conditions you're trying to address. So our power gummies are very unique. Our gummies are infused. Our gummies are not coated like most gummies are in the marketplace. Infused gummies mean that the CBD is within the entire gummy, so it's more potent. These gummies are 25 milligrams of CBD. They take about 30 to 60 minutes sometimes to get into the system. Why? Because when you eat a gummy, it's got to go to the stomach, it's got to go to the liver, then it's go to the bloodstream. So that's why I love recommending eating a gummy at night. A gummy at night will kick in in about 30 minutes. So taking one gummy about 30 minutes before you're ready to retire, it will address these symptoms during your sleep. So not only are you gonna be sleeping better, but it will help to reduce inflammation in your body. This particular gummy comes in a 20 count pack or a four count pack. They're vegan, they're non-GMO, and they taste so yummy. They taste so yummy that you want to eat three or four or five. Please don't do that. These gummies are very, very potent because they're infused. Please start with half a gummy. And then if you need to eat the other half, 
do that, but please go low and go slow. What will happen if you eat too many gummies? Well, too much CBD in your system will make you very lethargic or fatigued. So if you're trying to go to sleep, that's fine. But if you're taking too many gummies during the day, you need to be awake and coherent, right? So go low and go slow. Our pure gummies, our broad spectrum gummies, these particular gummies are amazing. They're 20 milligrams of CBD and they come in a 25 count bottle or a five count package. Again, the pure gummies are for those who have random drug screens. So why do I like to combine the tinctures with the topicals with the gummy? Well, the tinctures take about 15 to 20 minutes to kick into the bloodstream, right? So as that tincture is kicking in and it lasts for about six to eight hours in your system, you can use the topical in between for that local relief that you may need. And then you top that off at night with a gummy so that that gummy can be working for eight hours as you're sleeping. So I love using all of our products together. In fact, we have these CBD joints and cartridges that work within one to five minutes. So we have products for you that during those acute conditions that you need to address symptoms, these CBD joints and CBD cartridges can kick in within one to five minutes. Now the duration of these products are only an hour. That's why I love having these on hand for those acute times where you need to get CBD quickly into the bloodstream. Our CBD joint is 106 milligrams of CBD, so please do not smoke the whole joint in one sitting. No one needs that much CBD at one time. One to three pulls is all you need, then you can put that joint out and you reuse it. It does not get you high. We talked about the difference between CBD coming from the hemp species, it gives you the health without the high. So even though we call it a CBD joint, it does not get you high. There's no euphoria, there's no paranoia, there's no high. I love using these CBD joints for those loved ones that still smoke cigarettes. Because of the endocannabinoid system, because of the science behind how CBD works, CBD comes in and actually blocks the reward center. It blocks the cravings of nicotine. So you can use a CBD joint in folks who are still smoking cigarettes or maybe that millennial or Gen Z that is addicted to marijuana. It can break that craving and that habit. Science has proven it. It's just not coming from Dr. Rita's mouth. And then the cartridges. Again, our cartridges are, are sealed so you can't tamper with. You know, we talked about how you know, unfortunately, so many Americans died from these black market cartridges that were found on the black market. They found that they were tainted with rat poison. They were tainted with fentanyl. They were, uh, the filler they were using was vitamin E. And vitamin E, though very benign, when you heat it in a vape pen, it's toxic to the lung and unfortunately killed many, many Americans. So that is the difference between getting a product off of the, or in the black market, a product that's not tested, a product you have no idea where it came from, there's no certificate of analysis in the products here at Wakana. So that's very, very important. And then we have our culinary line. Oh my goodness, I know it's lunchtime and I already marinated uh, my turkey burgers, with our seasoning, we have garlic fire, we have flavor king, chili lime, all infused with uh, 200 milligrams of CBD in each bottle. Then we have our power water soluble. And I love that power water soluble. I put some in my tea this morning. It's a product where it is not oil. So you can put it in your liquids, your beverages, your fruit, I mean, your smoothies, your tea, your coffee, whatever you're eating and keep it moving. I love using the water solubles in my seniors who just don't have, you know, the cognitive skills maybe, or the time to hold that tincture under their tongue for 60 seconds. Then we have a product you can bake with, you can cook with. As long as you're cooking and baking below 350 uh, degrees, we want to make sure that you can use our products in the kitchen and still get the medicinal benefits. And then our CBD culinary oil 
enhance with great seed oil is a great way to marinate that salmon. Um, you're making salad dressings, etc. So yeah, we want you to be a Wakana chef, Wakana butt tender. We also have products that address our immune that help to boost our immune system. We can't make any claims about this coronavirus, but what I can tell you is that we cannot control the virus, but we can control our host. We can control our body. We can make sure that if the COVID-19 hits us, our body is strong and prepared. So we have essential oils. We have a product that's CBD with essential oils. That's a nasal spray, which is amazing. And then we have the opportunity for you on the line, if you're a guest, to be a customer and, and to purchase your products at a savings. So we have these packages that save you over a hundred dollars or more when you buy it in our 710 Power, we have our 710 Pure and our variety. All of these packages just combine a lot of the products I talked about, the tinctures, the water solubles, the gummies, and the topical uh, products for pain relief. We even have a package for your immune system, our defense pack, which comes with those products we talked about, our essential oils, black seed, turmeric, I mean, black seed eucalyptus, peppermint and tea tree. We have an immune defense tea. We also have our first defense, our essential defense, uh, just a great package as well. So I'm gonna open up the line for questions, but typically there are three types of people at the end of our lunch and learns. And our lunch and learns really are dedicated to really empower you to learn about cannabis, to end that negative stigma, to understand there's CBD from hemp that gives you the health without the high. Person number one, if you're on the line, you're a customer, you're really interested in getting one of those packages, you may be number two, that's why I'm taking questions. You still have questions. I wanna understand a little more about uh, cannabis versus uh, marijuana versus hemp, or maybe you have questions about our product line. And then person number three, person number three is somebody who's gonna stay on the line after I take these questions that are interested in our opportunity to earn extra income, to bring in an additional income stream. You're person number three, and you're gonna stay on the line with me after I address any questions that may be on the line. So you can put your questions in the chat box, or you can unmute yourself uh, and ask the question. We're gonna take just a couple of minutes for questions. I see my Tamara Tops. She is back on. Thank you for joining again. Um, I'm gonna take questions now from the audience. And then if you're interested in the opportunity, we're going to then go into the last part as well. Any questions? Can these replace vitamins for children? No. So we want to make a disclaimer very, very clear that the children that are using our products are because their parents have decided that they want to do that, okay? So we have a lot of parents on the line, maybe if they're on the line, they can speak up that have used our products, but we cannot advise children directly to use our products. Our products are not FDA approved. In fact, there's only one FDA approved CBD product called Epidolex used for seizure disorder. This is a product that should not replace your vitamin. You should continue taking your vitamin you should continue taking your vitamin C, your vitamin D, your zinc, and you should absolutely include CBD into your regimen along with other essential oils to promote a better health, a better host, and a better immune system. So the children that use our product is because it's the discretion of their parents to use the product. So we've got parents that have used it with ADHD, autism, um, anxiety and seizures. 
Great question. There you go. Yes. Any other questions? I think they're coming in the chat. Um, yes, I would like to I just begin taking the products and uh, I'm on uh, medicine for like insulin, for diabetes and different stuff and I want to know at what point will I know, do I have to report to my would I report to my doctor to get off of this the medicine that that I'm on once yeah. the I'm sorry, and what else? Once the, once the, the medicine the CBD, all that works, start working within my system. At what point will I know to not take the medicine that's prescribed by a doctor? Right. So you have to take your medicine. Okay. That's really important. And it's really important to let your doctor know that you're using CBD. And the reason why is because CBD has been shown to be a vasal relaxant, which means it helps to dilate the vessels. So I have so many patients whose blood pressure got better, right? And you yeah. want your doctor to know why is your blood sugar getting better? Why is your blood pressure getting better? You want to work with your doctor so that your doctor can slowly start weaning you down from insulin or antihypertensive medications or any other medications you're on. So it's imperative one, never to stop taking your medicine unless okay. your physician instructs you to. Number two, bringing your physician in on what you're using so your physician can adequately decrease and even eliminate some of your medication. And number three, making sure that when you take your medicine that you space out your CBD. You wanna take about one to two hours between taking your medicine and using your CBD. You don't wanna use it at the same time, okay? So take your medication as prescribed, one to two hours later, you're gonna use your CBD. And you wanna journal. You wanna journal what your blood sugars are. You wanna journal what your blood pressures are. You wanna journal on um, your anxiety level. So you can really let your doctor know, hey, look, these improvements have gone since I've included CBD into my regimen. Okay, thank you. thank you. We'll take one more question or so. Great questions, though. Is there anyone on the line that took it upon themselves to uh, help their child with our CBD product? And that's to the discretion of the parent. You can unmute yourself. If not, that's fine too. Any other questions? Because we're gonna go on to the next part. So CBD can help with weight loss. CBD causes the brown fat um, to convert the white fat to brown fat and brown fat is the fat that helps to improve and increase the metabolism. Um, CBD is not magical, Tamara. So you just can't put the drops in your mouth and pray to God that you lose 20 pounds. You got to work with it, right? So you have to uh, watch your carbs, make sure you're eating lean protein, making sure you're measuring every, I measure every single thing I put in my mouth, right? Portion control and exercise. When you combine CBD with all of those things, it becomes magical. Same thing with diabetes, same thing with heart disease. Whatever challenge you're looking, whatever symptom you're looking to improve, you know, you got to work with the CBD. You have to make sure that your diet is a diet where the CBD can really work in your system. And the diet where CBD really works is when you make sure that omega-3 and those omega-6 fatty acids are in your diet, making sure you're eating the fish or maybe you're taking a fish oil. That really helps because CBD is a fat molecule. It helps CBD to get into your body better. So those are, those are the little tricks that you can do that help with um, get the CBD in the system. CBD and shingles, again, we can't make claims that CBD would cure shingles, but what we can say 
is CBD can assist with the symptoms of, of shingles. Shingles is the most debilitating pain you ever want to have. Now, I've never had shingles, but I witnessed my mother, rest in heaven, have shingles. It was, it was like seeing someone, it was awful. It's awful pain. So yes, CBD can help to decrease pain. CBD can help decrease inflammation. You can take that topical and rub it in the areas where the shingles is causing debilitating pain. You can use the tincture. You can use the gummies. When you have something that debilitating and serious, remember, use all the products. Use the tincture. Use the topical. Use the gummy. Use the cartridges. You want to combine all of those things so that that CBD can be in your system for the full 24 hours. When you're sleeping, it's working. When you're up, it's working at all times. So very, very good question. So we're going to move on to uh, the business part. So if you're interested in locking arms with us here at Wakana, if you're looking for an additional stream of income, if you're looking for a business that you can run from your home, then you want to stay on the line. So I want to first ask, you know, or put out there, what is the big deal about the cannabis industry? You know, why is it why is it so mainstream? Well, one is its explosive growth. It's projected that this industry not only is going to be the next wealth creating industry in our lifetime that we're going to see, but it's going to grow by 700%. In the next two years, this industry, this is very conservative, is expected to be worth about $22 billion or more. So that's why the four co-founders, we really feel that the key to freedom is business ownership. Millions and millions of Illinoisans are out of work. Millions, and I'm just in Illinois, all across the country. So now, if ever is a time that you should be your healthiest, that you should be eating well, you should be exercising, and you should have an additional stream of income. You know, I announced last week that I found out I was COVID-19 positive last Wednesday night. And I tell you, I thank God I am asymptomatic. I have had no fever, no cough, no shortness of breath, no runny nose, no nothing. And why is that? Well, it's because I took care of my host, my body. I work out every day. I eat clean. I take these amazing products. So it became magical. So when COVID-19 met me, my host was like, stand back, right? So for the next 10 to 14 days, I'm at home. But I still have a home-based business that's generating income for me as I am home. So this is truly something to look at during this time that we are in. You may ask, is Wakana a pyramid, right? A lot of people ask me that. Is your company a pyramid? Absolutely not. The definition of a pyramid is a company that has no products to sell. And what they're selling are positions. So when you come into the company, you get paid for people that you bring into the company. But there is no product. Wakana is not a pyramid because we have a product. We have 22 products for that matter. So Wakana is a hybrid. It's a hybrid of a micro franchise and a network marketing company. Now, a traditional network marketing company pays down to infinity. That's why when people join traditional network marketing companies, they make very little money, right? Because the company has to pay down to infinity. What do you expect? You know, you're left with pennies. But here at Wakana, there are no business startup fees. There's no website hosting fees, meaning that when you get your website, it's free. There's no required auto ships of product that you have to order every single month. There's no balancing of legs. The compensation plan is very balanced. And it's a willable business. That's pretty significant. So you can will this business to your legacy. We have something called a shared revenue pool, which we're going to talk about, which is so exciting. So all of this makes us different from other 
companies. We pay down seven levels deep, not to infinity, but seven levels deep. So when you think about a dispensary, this is what we think about a brick and mortar, you know, to get into the cannabis space, you need at least a million dollars. That's minimum a million dollars. But there's seven ways to earn income here at Wakanda. We're going to talk about those seven ways. And one way is through our online dispensary. So when you come in lock arms with Wakana, we give you your own micro dispensary or micro franchise. It's an online CBD dispensary where you're able to earn money without holding any inventory. Every time your customer, customers come to your site, you earn between 20 and 50% commission. During this pandemic, we're offering free shipping with any order over $50. You're able to have a 30 day test drive where we give you a CBD online dispensary for free for 30 days. But after that 30 days to continue to earn those commissions, you have to become certified. And we'll talk about how you become certified. So to start a business, to lock arms with Wakana, to help us with this movement. And you know that movement is to really to end the negative stigma to show people from all communities that this plant not only can address our health, but our wealth. And that is through our full crown jewel dispensary. This is a dispensary that allows you to get paid on all of the levels that we talk about, those seven levels. It's $998. What do you get for $998? Well, you get $1,500 worth of product. This product is product you can retail at a 50% profit margin. You also get a broker key activation. A broker key activation means you can go out and get as many people that you know that wanna get into the cannabis industry and you can give them one of those 30 day free test drive online CBD dispensary websites. It also comes with two vouchers to our Wakanda University. Well, why would you need two? Well, you need one for yourself to get educated about how the products work, how to talk about the products in a compliant way, dosing, how to infuse products, how to cook with products. You get to learn about your marketing and branding. You learn about the compensation plan. You learn about different cannabis stocks to invest in. You learn about how important your mindset is to be successful in this business. The other voucher, you can sell. The vouchers are worth $199 or you can bless someone with. Maybe you bring on someone who's really hitting a hard time and they wanna get that 30 day online free site. And maybe you wanna bless that person with that extra one that you have so that they can continue getting their commissions after day 30. Full Crown Jewel Dispensary allows you to advance to the level of Sapphire for six months. And every time you sell one of these packages for $998, the company pays you $200 every single time you sell one of these packages. That package values at $2,000, it's $998. Another way to come into the uh, business is maybe you don't have $9.98 right now, but you can start at a millennial or a stimulus starter pack. These are $500 values for $199. And what, does the, what do they include? Well, they include $200 worth of retail products. They include that broker key activation where you're able to give away as many 30-day free CBD dispensary online sites as your heart desires. It also comes with a voucher for our Wakana University to get all of the training, all of the information. And it also, each time you sell one of these dispensaries, you earn $40. Our Wakana University is $199. You can purchase that a la carte if you want to. Once you get that free online site, you learn about social media marketing, building a customer base, making money in edibles, cannabis investing. I will teach you about everything you wanna know about CBD and more. We talk about compliance, even though the FDA has not regulate this industry, we wanna 
teach you what to say and what not to say. We don't want you running around saying, well, Dr. Rita said that if you take this, your diabetes will go away. No, Dr. Rita did not say that, right? And then we teach you about compensation. And then there's a shared wealth pool. The shared wealth pool is another way to make money when you lock arms with Wakana. Now, we have benchmarks here at Wakana. Our leaders get to share in this wealth pool. The leaders start at a Sapphire dispensary, which is defined as a $10,000 in sales that you've done in one calendar month. Ruby dispensary, that's $25,000 in sales that, that you've done in one calendar month. And $50,000 is an emerald dispensary that you've done in one calendar month. When you hit Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, you get to enter in a shared wealth pool. Now, what's important is that when you hit Sapphire, and you've done $10,000 in sales, the efforts can't just be from you. It has to come from you and two or more business partners, two or more folks that have locked arms with you and you've done collectively $10,000 in sales. That's definition of a sat buyer. Uh, Ruby is 25,000 and Emerald is 50,000. So it's a U plus two or more. Now, when we look at the next leaders in our company, they're called M uh, diamonds. One star diamond means that you've done $100,000 in sales in one calendar month, all the way up to a million dollars in sales. But it's not from just your efforts. It has to come from you and at least three or more business partners. It can be 25, it can be 100, however many, it has to be three or more to do that amount of volume. So what happens at the end of the month? You get to share in our company's revenue. So we take 4% of our revenue at the end of the month, we place it in a pool, we figure out how many outstanding shares are out there, how many sapphires, how many rubies, how many emeralds, how many diamonds, and we share the wealth. Is that exciting? I don't know how many, on you, how many of you on the line work for a company that shares at the end of the month, every single month, they share the revenues. So put in that chat box if you work for a company that shares their revenue. I'd like to know about that. And then when you hit one star diamond and above, you get to enter an additional 2%. So you're getting 6% of the total of the, of the 6 of the revenues at the end of the month of the company. So diamonds get an additional 2%. So they get additional shares on top of the 4% shares. And then, yes, the one star diamonds and above receive a car bonus a $500 car bonus. No, you don't get a Mercedes Benz, simmer down, simmer down. But what you do get is $500 toward any car note that you have as a one star diamond and above. And then one star diamonds and above qualify for our annual trip to the motherland. You must achieve diamond status for at least two consecutive months to qualify. So once this pandemic is over, Hopefully by 2021, we'll be going to the motherland because I'm not foreseeing we'll be going anywhere in 2020. So that is our business compensation plan. That is what it looks like when you come in and lock arms with us here at Wakana. I'm gonna take any questions as it relates to our compensation plan, our business plan, and those packages, either the full crown jewel dispensary the millennial or the stimulus package when you come in. Just want you to know that if you come in at a stimulus or a millennial, you can upgrade to that full crown jewel dispensary. When you come in at a 30 day free test drive, you can also upgrade to that full crown jewel dispensary as well. Any questions? Yes, these Zooms can be viewed at a later time. I do record all of the Zooms. Tamara, uh, you, I owe you a phone call today. I'll give you a call whenever you're free today. She's one of my guests that's been on Lunch and Learn every day. And so super excited for you to either be a number one, 
a customer, or number two, maybe you still have questions, or number three, locking arms with us and becoming one of our business partners. Any questions? I wanna make sure that you understand if you're a guest on the line, please contact the person that invited you. Let them know if you're number one, number two, number three. Also, if you're a guest on the line, I want you to invite your loved ones. We have Lunch and Learn every single day, tomorrow, even Sunday at noon, same Zoom line. We really we just wanna empower, we wanna educate uh, those that there are alternatives to our health and that alternative is CBD. And wanna thank you for joining. If there's no other questions, um, I'm gonna let you guys go and, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Again, I'll be here tomorrow at noon. Invite your guests, invite your healthcare professionals. Truly, truly believe that every healthcare professional should know about the medicinal properties of CBD for their patients who are looking for alternatives, holistic, organic alternatives to their health. Did anyone want to um, give a quick testimony about the product and what the product has done for them before we leave? You know, Dr. Ross? Yes, ma'am. Can you Dr. hear me? Dr. Ross to share uh, a testimony from one of her customers. Uh, powerful, powerful testimony from, you have one of those you can use because you've had so many this weekend. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, especially for the lady who was asking about the doctor. That's the one I really wanted to share. Um, my godmother had been taking our hempranium and our gummies for approximately, um, I want to say two months. And I had told her definitely to uh, let her doctor know what she was taking because she's a diabetic. Uh, she's actually an amputee. One leg had been amputated some time back. And um, of course, the insulin was very, very expensive. And so she started taking uh, a Hempranium 500. She started taking our uh, gummies because she was dealing with uh, neuropathy as well as, of course, her diabetes. She sent me a text message where well, her daughter sent me a text message yesterday. Here's what she said. News. Mom's A1C level is down to 6.9. When she started seeing her doctor a little over a year ago, it was 8.3. Today, he reduced her insulin intake by 25%. And that's because, you know, she was going to the doctor. The doctor was on board, knows what she's doing. And so he gave her the recommendation to reduce her insulin. And her goal, of course, is to get off of it. Wow, that was so powerful. Dr. Roz yesterday called me all day with clients that have had amazing results and it just warmed my heart because yes, I was trained at a very traditional medical school and training, but when we have something that's holistic and organic that has very few side effects that can be used in addition with traditional pharmaceutical medicine to help folks decrease and even eliminate their medications. It just warms my heart. And so thank you for sharing that. And I look forward to hearing more about uh, all of you that are on the line, that are on our products and your amazing testimony. So thank you, Dr. Ross. So I'm not gonna hold you any longer. Thank you for joining. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see your guests tomorrow. We want to really empower our communities by really understanding how this works in our body, the difference between hemp and marijuana, and why Wakana products are so unique on the CBD marketplace as a whole. So thank you. Have a great afternoon. Be well. Be safe. Eat well. Drink water. Get your rest. Take your CBD and we'll see you tomorrow.